when I first experienced worship is when I first went to church. I didn't really know what it was going to be or how it was going to be. Um, didn't really know a lot about church. And I remember there was people raising their hands and worshiping God and just going for it in worship. And it really threw me off. I really didn't understand it. Um, it, it almost bothered me that I didn't understand it until the first time that I truly experienced worship. And it was in that moment that I closed my eyes and the band was just worshiping God. And I remember in that, that moment, God met me in such a powerful way um, that it was really something difficult for me to ever forget. It's been one of the most distinctive parts of my Christian walk was that first time of raising my hands and closing my eyes and just not caring about who's around me or who's next to me. It was just this me and God, this moment where God met me. I knew from that point on that uh, worship was a, a connection that I had with God. Never did I think I was going to lead worship or stand in front of people and sing, but as God started calling me into this calling on my life, worship for me has always been so much more than our band or the band that I'm in or uh, the songs that I'm singing. I've always felt when, when leading worship, if if there's just two people that show up, if there happens to be 200,000 people that show up, um, I knew that God would always show up. It just didn't matter how many people happen to be uh, in the place where we've been able to go and I've been able to go. Worship has always been so intimate. It doesn't matter if I'm out in the crowd worshiping or happen to be the one holding the guitar worshiping. I, I knew the only thing good that I had to give anyone was Jesus. and. Um, I've always kept that and known that and I really don't know any other way to to worship God. I would say for the past six years I've always loved the scripture John 4 23. A time will come however indeed it is already here when the true genuine worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. For the Father is seeking just such people as these as his worshipers. To me, there's something precious about God's worshipers. It doesn't matter who happens to be holding the guitar or the microphone or who's playing the drums. We're all God's worshipers. We're all uh, in this together as a church, as a body of one in unity, worshiping this God who loves us, that created us, that knows our heart, that meets us right where we're at. And there's just so much joy I find when I get to be in the presence of of who he is and the essence of who he is with people that just love him, that just want to worship him. And so it's been a verse that I've just always uh, been incredibly passionate about. We just always come with that expecting heart, knowing Jesus is going to move. And if it's just a few of us, I know that the scripture says that we're two or more gathered. Uh, there he will be in our midst. And um, I've always found so much joy in that, not going expecting uh, how many people are going to happen to be there, but expecting God to be there.